Have you ever wondered why so many of us care about things that don't really matter in the grand scheme of things? It's certainly a conundrum, but one that author Mark Manson tackles head-on in his book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving AF Asterisk CK. Manson's audacious title might raise eyebrows, but it encapsulates the book's main theme beautifully, the power of selective indifference. The book doesn't advocate for a life of apathy. Rather, it encourages us to be discerning with our energy and attention. We're often consumed by trivial matters, leaving us drained and unfocused on what genuinely matters. Manson's novel approach suggests a radical shift in perspective. Instead of trying to give AFCK about, the power of not giving AF asterisk CC is about freeing ourselves from the chains of pointless worries and focusing on what truly enriches our lives. Now let's delve into the chapters of this intriguing book. Ever thought that suffering might have its own value? Sounds absurd, right? Yet in the first chapter of Mark Manson's The Subtle Art of Not Giving AF Asterisk CK, he presents a compelling argument that suffering, in fact, can be a catalyst for personal growth. Now before you dismiss this as utter nonsense, consider this. We all suffer in one way or another. It's an inevitable part of life. But what if we could choose what to suffer for? Manson suggests that the act of choosing our suffering is an incredibly powerful tool for shaping our lives. Imagine you're passionate about playing the guitar. The hours of practice, the sore fingers, the frustration of hitting wrong notes. That's suffering. But you're choosing it because the outcome is something you desire. It's this choice, this acceptance of suffering for something meaningful, that can lead to true happiness. Intriguing, isn't it? Now let's move on to the next chapter. Who's responsible for your happiness? Your spouse? Your boss? Or is it someone else? Now, let's dive into the crux of chapter 2 of Mark Manson's book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving AF Asterisk C, where he underscores the significance of taking responsibility for our own happiness. The author asserts that blaming others for our problems is a slippery slope that only leads to more problems. It's easy to point fingers, to lay blame on others for our discontent. But at the end of the day, we are the architects of our own lives. The power to change, to shift our perception, and to find joy lies within us. Manson encourages us to take the reins, to own our choices, our actions, and their consequences. By doing so, we not only liberate ourselves from the shackles of blame, but also empower ourselves to cultivate a life that truly makes us happy. So, the key to happiness is in your hands, but there's more to it. Death. The inevitable end. Have you ever pondered upon its impact on our lives? In Chapter 3, Mark Manson takes us on a deep dive into this often shunned topic, bringing to light the reality of our mortality. The idea that each of us is on a ticking clock can be a hard pill to swallow. But, Manson argues, accepting this fact can have a profound impact on how we live our lives. Imagine if you knew exactly how much time you had left. Would you waste it on trivial pursuits? Or would you focus on what truly matters? By acknowledging our mortality, Manson suggests, we gain a sense of urgency to prioritize the important things in our lives. This doesn't mean we should live in fear of death. Rather, it's about embracing the fact that our time is finite and using that knowledge to fuel our decisions and actions. So death, though grim, helps us to focus on what's truly important. So, what's the subtle art of not giving AF asterisk seeking all about? In essence, it's about understanding that the secret to a happier life isn't caring more, but caring less. But not just about anything, it's about caring less about the things that don't truly matter, and focusing your energy on the things that do. It's about letting go of the need to please everyone, of the fear of judgment, of the endless pursuit of perfection. This philosophy isn't just about personal happiness. It can be applied to all aspects of life, whether it's your career, relationships, or personal goals. Understanding what truly matters to you and letting go of the rest can lead to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. And finally, here's a crucial point to remember. Not giving AF asterisk CK isn't about being indifferent. It's about being comfortable with being different. Embrace your quirks, your passions, your values. They're what make you, you.